Summary of Grendel by John Gardner Grendel is a scary monster who lives with his mother in a cave under the ground. As spring starts, he meets a ram and, annoyed by how dumb it is, tries to scare it away. The ram stays still. Grendel yells at himself and goes toward Hrothgar's meat hall. He often raids Hrothgar's land, which is near the meat hall. Grendel thinks about his childhood. In the bush, he once got his foot stuck between two tree roots. Grendel was found by a bull, which charged at him, but it didn't hurt him very much. The bull charged over and over again, but it didn't work. When it got tired, it just left. Then, Hrothgar led a group of people who found Grendel. They didn't know what kind of creature he was. Grendel tried to talk to them, but his monster-like voice scared them, so they attacked him. The humans ran away when Grendel's scary mother came to save him. Grendel talks about how people finally learned how to farm and build towns. As the number of settlements grew, fights broke out, and Hrothgar slowly rose to power. People never stopped trying to destroy nature and other people who were against them. Once Hrothgar's power was solid, an old blind man came to his mead hall one night and asked to sing for money. The shaper was a man who sang beautiful songs about Hrothgar and his people. Grendel was angry, but he was also swept away by the beauty of his songs. When Grendel was watching Hrothgar and the people, the shaper told him a story about two ancient brothers who had a fight and killed each other. The brother who killed his brother was cursed for all time. The shaper says that Grendel is the son of the brother who was cursed. Grendel, who was very angry, ran into the mead hall and tried to convince the Danes that he didn't mean them any harm. But they were scared of him and tried to hurt him, so he ran away. After meeting the shaper, Grendel went to see the dragon, a clever but scary creature who was obsessed with his wealth hoard. Grendel learned from the dragon about people, time, space, and the world. Grendel had trouble understanding his abstract, philosophical thoughts, but he got the main point that, in the big plan of forever, everything in life is meaningless. Grendel couldn't be hurt by weapons because the dragon put a spell on him. Grendel began his usual raids on Hrothgar's mead hall not long after that. During one raid, he met a Dane named Unferth who was very strong and thought of himself as a hero. Grendel made fun of Unferth and played with him, denying that there were any real heroes. Grendel let Unferth live, so Unferth went with him back to his cave so he could die with honor. Grendel didn't kill him though, and instead brought him back to Hrothgar safe and sound. Grendel then thinks back to when Wealthio, Hrothgar's queen, came to visit. Hrothgar was getting ready to go to war with a rival king, but the rival king gave Wealthio to Hrothgar as a gift to stop the war. Grendel was mesmerized by Wealthio's beauty and ease, and she tortured him just like the shaper's art used to. Hrothulf, Hrothgar's nephew, comes to heart after the death of Hrothgar's brother. Hrothulf has a lot of bad things to say about Hrothgar's rule. He and his counselor, an old man named Red Horse, talk about whether change is right or wrong. Hrothulf doesn't do anything, though. He stays under Hrothgar's care and keeps planning to overthrow him in the future. One night, Grendel chooses to impute to Hrothgar a dream he had about two trees that grew so they were wrapped around each other. Another night, Grendel watches the Danes from a holy area with pictures of their gods. Orc, an old monk, comes to the area, but he can't find Grendel. Grendel talks to him and acts like he is his god. He does this to mess with the human and his religious views. Grendel gets tired of all the raids he keeps doing. The shaper dies, and Grendel goes to his funeral to see what happens. A group of strangers called the Geats show up in Hrothgar's country. Grendel is scared and excited by the unknown head of their group, who is the hero Beowulf. Beowulf tells Hrothgar and his men that he has come to kill Grendel for them. At Hrothgar's mead hall, he tells the Danes about all the brave things he has done. Grendel breaks into the mead hall to find Beowulf after everyone else has gone to sleep. He grabs a sleeping man to eat him, but it turns out that it is Beowulf, who was just trying to sleep. Grendel attacks, but Beowulf grabs him and starts to beat him up. 
He pushes his extreme ideas, especially the idea that Grendel's mind makes the world what it is, on Grendel, who finds Beowulf's words as painful as his constant grip on Grendel's arm. Beowulf rips off Grendel's arm, and Grendel runs away, yelling that Beowulf's win was just luck and didn't mean anything. Grendel dies in the middle of a forest full of animals. About the author. John Gardner was a writer and professor from the United States. He went to DePaul University and Washington University in St. Louis to study English after growing up in New York. After getting his MA and PhD from the University of Iowa, he taught creative writing and ancient literature, including, no doubt, Beowulf, at different colleges. Grendel was the first book by Gardner that got a lot of praise. It was written late in his life. Grendel made Gardner a well-known American author, and even though he went on to write other popular books, Grendel is still his best-known work. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.